If you're still struggling to land your first job and literally can't figure out how to get a first interview, well, in this particular video, I'm gonna give you top mistakes that most developers do that you absolutely need to avoid in order to land your first job and go through your first developer interview. Most common mistakes that I found a lot of developers, newbie developers doing, and I personally did this like back in the days, which is randomly applying for jobs without even knowing the context or without knowing even if the jobs falls under your umbrella. And this is a very amateur bad mistake to make on your first days of your career as a developer, which you can go to any platform, for example, Indeed, or maybe Glassdoor platform or any other platform that offers jobs. And you just start bulk kind of like applying to different jobs and different companies without even knowing if the job is even like gonna fall under the umbrella of the technologies and the programming languages you know, or is it under your interest? It's a very, very critical thing to think about. So always, always, when you start to apply for a job, you always need to consider like what the job needs, what are the requirements of the job, what are the benefits of the job, and what are the required kind of skill sets and technologies you need to know in order to be able to, you know, made possible or like a candidate for that particular job. So always search on Indeed or something like, for example, front-end developer for your front-end developer skills or back-end developer if you want to be like a back-end developer kind of guy. But never go with this like criteria, just like bulk uh, going to jobs because you will never be contacted back because they're not going to find the exact uh, skill sets that you're looking for. So it's better for you to look for the jobs that are having the same skill sets as required as, as you have. Like technologies, maybe React, Angular, and like JavaScript, HTML, CSS, and you apply for those. And this, you will have like higher chance, like a 90% to be contacted back. But this is not always the critical part. There's other parts into it or mistakes that you need to avoid too. The second silly mistake that a lot of people think and a lot of them are still thinking that this is a required thing, which you think that you need a CS degree in order to land your first job, which is absolutely wrong. Because nowadays, like most companies like Apple, Google, Facebook, and many, many more, they don't require a CS degree at all. They just, they just go and see what skill sets you have and they put you through this like technical interview or coding interview. And if you have the skill sets, if you are familiar enough with the technologies, if you have this experience working on particular projects, and if you have this awesome portfolio that includes a lot of projects, well, you can easily land the job and you can actually grow behind anybody else that has a CS degree. But that doesn't mean like the person who has a CS degree, like me, for example, is completely useless. It's not, of course, you still like, it's a very, very important thing to have, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you can't land your first job. I know so many people, like so many of them have jobs at big, big companies and they absolutely have no CS degree or even like maybe they have only a bachelor degree instead of like a master's degree which is quite insane just to think about for a second. So for example, as clear as in here on the career paths in here on, on a job from Apple, a job listing, you can clearly see in here on the required kind of education, you can see like it has a bachelor degree in computer science or a relevant experience in the same field, which is it kind of like the same, it's an equality and you absolutely don't require a CS degree, but it's still a very nice thing to have. The other very silly and amateur mistake is having no portfolio. And yes, I mean it. A portfolio is such a very big deal in the terms of a developer career or developer job. So you absolutely need a portfolio to showcase your skills, what projects you've worked on, maybe open source collaborations and much, much more, or just simply to let the recruiter know a little bit more about you personally and your hobbits and what you know behind the scenes and all that kind of stuff. So it's a very important aspect to have. So it's like 90% of recruiters will absolutely discourage your job application if they don't find a portfolio link, maybe your GitHub portfolio or just a simple portfolio portfolio hosted on Netlify or any other free service and you've got it from like a template from GitHub, you download that template, you cloned it and you started putting some edits just to include your expertise and make it a little bit more that feels like it's a little bit more personal and yet you've worked on it. So it's, it's a very important aspect to have a portfolio in order to be able to land your first job. 
The other mistake that is a little bit related into the portfolio word and having a personal portfolio is completely ignoring GitHub altogether or not creating any projects and hosting them or just not putting your projects into your GitHub portfolio. So your GitHub profile is one of the most important aspects, if not the most important one that you need to take care of before jumping or submitting your job application. In your GitHub portfolio, you can add your project if you worked on. And recently, GitHub added this really awesome feature that you can have a readme file that corresponds or explains your portfolio. So you can just turn your GitHub profile into more of a GitHub portfolio or more like a portfolio that introduces projects, introduces from where you are. Uh, you can write whatever with it. And there's so many stuff that you can add into it. It's, it's such an important thing to have as a developer. Personally, just because of my GitHub portfolio or my GitHub profile, I had so many job requests through emails, through different ways of communications, just asking me, oh, I've seen you on GitHub and your GitHub portfolio looks absolutely interesting with all the projects I've worked on. So are you interested to work with us in this? Maybe in a freelance, maybe to do a video, maybe a lot of stuff, right? but it's such an important one. And believe me, when I'm telling you GitHub is one of the best thing to have as a developer is literally is because it's gonna help you a lot land your first job. And the other rookie mistake that I found myself even doing back in the days is trying to learn absolutely everything, which is a very, very bad thing to do because as us developers, especially beginner developers, when we look into the outside world and see all these developers working at big tech companies, maybe Apple, Google, or maybe Fang, you're going to see them having this really extraordinary kind of portfolios. They have this so much working experience, 20 years working in there, so many technologies, so many projects, yada, yada, yada. And you think to yourself, oh, I need to be that equivalent. Well, it's completely opposite thing and you absolutely need only to know the basic stuff in order to land your first job. So to avoid this problem, always when getting started, always, always, always focus only on the basic technologies that you're going to find yourself using mostly. For example, if you are a web developer, you need to focus on like HTML, CSS, um, you go with JavaScript and JavaScript is, I mean, like you can go deeper into JavaScript because it's a, such an importance and an awesome language to learn. And of course you can go to stuff like React, maybe other frameworks like Angular or Vue.js and yada, yada, yada. So this will give you the opportunity to land your first job. Then during the job, you can actually expand to more technologies, maybe more technical stuff, maybe start a blog and so many things that comes after landing the first job and having this knowledge or experience. So for me, my first job, I only had like really little experience with like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, just a very little one uh, back in the days and had no like framework or that kind of stuff, maybe some jQuery. Uh, CSS, I was very horrible at it. I was using this floating stuff, no flex, no grid. It's so bad just to think about it. But when I got into my first job and was having this really basic amateur experience and literally not knowing anything about this advanced word, I started actually developing over time. Team members started helping me as a junior developer and so many stuff. Then of course, when you made it out, you're gonna understand like, wow, this is, this is how we should work. And beginner developers should not do this mistake ever because it's such a silly mistake and you can easily expand more on do the job or not before the job. And the last one is trying to land the best job on the market. Absolutely the best one, especially as your first job. So your first job literally doesn't matter or like how it's going to be or where it's going to be. Just jump on the job. So you want to learn, you want to gain your experience and you want to start working ASAP. That means like whatever job, whatever opportunity it comes through, you need to leap on it and start working immediately. It doesn't matter like what technology they like or what the stack it is or what the team members look like. You're going to be there for a short period of time and you're only going to be having experience. If it's a really nice job, hallelujah, you're lucky enough. But if it's a bad, horrible one, in my opinion, if it's just a first job, just go for it and don't overthink it. Even if the salary is so bad and it's like 
way lower than your expectations, it's still worth it to jump on the job. So you're only gonna be needing or requiring the experience. So this is actually a really good opportunity. And of course, you're gonna be learning a lot on the job. So you're gonna be having a lot of stuff to learn, a lot of experience of how project management works, how to communicate or like the soft skills stuff, how to communicate with team members and so much more. So it's all very important and you need to get started ASAP. If you got any job opportunity, well, just go for it. So thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope you guys got the really like some benefit from these advices. So if you wanna land your first job and literally this is actually a very, very golden opportunity. Uh, those advices are like gather them from different people as well as like my own uh, advices that I've been through and so many other developers. So I hope you guys enjoyed like I said before. Hope you guys get your first job as soon as possible and catch you all hopefully in the next ones.